Well, hello, boys and girls and dads and moms, and welcome to PJs and Pillows. Tonight's book is called Elbert's Bad Word. It was written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Audrey and Don Wood. Let's begin. One afternoon at an elegant garden party, young Elbert heard a word he had never heard before. The word floated by like a small storm cloud. It was ugly and covered with dark, bristly hairs. With a flick of his wrist, Elbert snatched the word from the air and stuffed it into his back pocket. Forgetting about it, the boy went on his way, but the word waited patiently. When Aunt Isabella sang opera in soprano, the word made itself small and flew into Elbert's mouth like a little gnat. That's when the trouble began. Chives the butler tried to balance too many drays of deviled eggs. He dropped them all onto Madame Frittata's gown. Madame Frittata spilled her fritzer on Sir Hilary's bald head, and Sir Hilary threw his croquet mallet up into the air. Then, with a terrible thud, the mallet landed on Elbert's great toe. Elbert opened his mouth to scream, but the bad word sprang out bigger and uglier than before. Everyone at the party was shocked. They couldn't believe their ears. Come with me, young man, Elbert's mother said with a frown. The word made itself small again, about the size of a rat, and followed in the boy's shadow. In the lavatory, Elbert's mother handed him a bar of soap. We do not say bad words, she said. Clean it out of your mouth and never use it again. While Elbert scrubbed his tongue, the bad word sat on his shoulder, snickering wickedly. Elbert knew something had to be done. He ran down a cobbled path, past the reflecting pool, beyond the gazebo, and knocked at the gardener's cottage. The gardener, who was also a practicing wizard, opened the door with a smile. Come in, he said, and bring that thing with you. The wizard gardener knew right away that Elbert had caught a bad word and needed a cure. Opening his desk, he pulled out a drawer filled with words that crackled and sparkled. Sometimes we need strong words, he said to say how we feel. Use these and perhaps you won't get into trouble. Taking the sparkling words from the drawer, the wizard gardener tossed them in a bowl with flour and honey. He added some raisins, milk, and eggs, mixed them all together, then baked a little cake. The cake was delicious, so Elbert ate every last crumb, and as he did, the ugly word shriveled to the size of a flea and hopped onto his necktie. Everyone was enjoying Cousin Rudolph's oboe solo in D minor when Elbert returned to the party. But soon the trouble began anew. Chives the butler tripped on Madame Frittata's feathered boa. Madame Frittata dropped her chocolate mousse on Sir Hilary's bald head. Sir Hilary threw his croquet mallet up into the air. Then, with a terrible thud, the mallet landed on Elbert's great toe. The music stopped. Everyone stared at the boy. Elbert's face were red with anger. My stars, thunder and lightning, rats and blue blazes, suffering cats, blistering hop toads, zounds and gadzooks, he shouted. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief and gave Elbert three rousing cheers. But no one 
was more pleased than Albert. As the music began again, he saw something that looked like a little spider scurry down a dark hole and disappear. And that is the end of the story. So brush your teeth, give hugs to the people that you love, don't use bad words, and have sweet dreams. Good night.